God, once again, I am Hans. And I am Franz, and we, we just, just want, want to pump, pump you up. It's time to pump some iron. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In this installment, we're dispelling five myths about the world of bodybuilding. But you know what I really don't like about weights? What's that? They're so heavy. From nutrition and weightlifting habits to general exercise knowledge, it's all here. So grab yourself a spotter, rack on those weights, and let's hit the gym. Myth number five, women will grow bulky muscles if they work out. Come on, baby, just want to show the guy. Many women will hesitate to include weightlifting into their fitness regime due to a common concern that it will cause them to develop a buff, hulk-like physique. In actuality, gaining and maintaining massive muscles is an intensely challenging process, which demands a lot more work for women than for men due to a disparity in the testosterone levels. The female bodybuilders who have bulging biceps and tremendous triceps have cultivated their physique through years of mass building training and occasionally supplementation. Women can achieve many different goals through weightlifting, such as building strength, improving coordination, burning calories and getting toned, all with or without putting on massive muscle. So ladies, don't be afraid of pumping a little iron. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're not going to achieve any change in your body shape, let alone an undesirably bulky one, without great effort. <laughs> Myth number four, doing sit-ups will burn fat from your waistline. You can do side bends or sit-ups, but please don't lose that butt. You've seen them on the late night infomercials or caught a glimpse of them in the as seen on TV section in stores. The latest abdominal stretcher gadget designed to burn fat from your waistline. Are you struggling to lose those love handles nobody loves? Now there's a machine so advanced, it targets your entire core. The only thing about this idea is that it takes a lot more than just sit-ups or abdominal crunches to slim down your tummy. What's a core blaster extreme? That is by far the best way to strengthen your core. Sure, spot training exercises are great for building muscle in specific areas, but that's not how fat burning works. In order for the world to see those washboard abs, you'll need cardiovascular exercise and high intensity workouts which burn fat from your entire body. Once you've reduced that belly, then all that hard work from your as seen on TV doohickey will really pay off. It strengthens your entire core. Your back core, your arm core, your the Marine Corps actually uses it. Myth number three. High reps of light weights is for cutting, low reps of heavy weights is for size. Hey Vince, you gotta hit the weights if you wanna put on size, man. There's a school of thought which claims that lifting lighter weights at a high repetitive rate will cut up muscle, making them more defined, while lifting a heavy weight at a low repetition will increase muscle size, but not give that chiseled look. Not quite the case. Lifting lots of light weights is barely going to have any effect at all. So, if your objective is to show your cuts, then the most effective solution is to actually lose weight through cardio exercise. Conversely, benching the heaviest weight you can barely roll off your chest a couple times is not going to give you Goku's pectorals. I have everything I could ever want right here on Earth, so I'll have to say, no thanks. Muscle growth is better promoted through exposure to prolonged stress. This is best achieved through higher reps using a weight which can be done properly while still posing a challenge. So just keep those instructions in mind when you're working towards your dream bod. What the hell are you doing on the ground? That hurts. Well, it's supposed to hurt. Myth number two, bodybuilding stunts your growth. Are you sure you don't want it? That might stunt my growth, and I want to be 5'10 like Cindy Crawford. A lot of parents don't want their kids to start lifting for fear that their bodies will suddenly stop growing. Say it, you giant beast. <laughs> Say I'm 6'1. Maybe if you stood on top of that pot of gold you have at the end of your rainbow. Stemming from the belief that lifting will exhaust the body to an extent where growth will be stunted, some people also believe that the increase in testosterone that accompanies bodybuilding will interfere with the HGH that the body produces. Well, good news, kids. This one's definitely not true, as long as you avoid those peripheral supplements and steroids which could do some harm. The American Academy of Pediatrics even backed this claim in 2001, stating that there was no clear adverse effects to be had by kids involved in strength training programs effectively dispelling the myth, which has long since been in the mind of parents. So no worries, they won't turn into manlets. Myth number one, bodybuilders are the epitome of good health. Look at us, man. Like Superman. Come on! We look at bodybuilders as if they were a paragon of human health, believing that in order to reach such a peak in physique, they must be incredibly disciplined and far healthier than the rest of us. I gotta say, 
It felt great to be doing so awesome. But while there are obviously a wealth of benefits maintaining an active lifestyle, bodybuilding and good health unfortunately don't always go hand in hand. For many, the quest for that perfect physique can quickly lead down a road to obsession, particularly if that person decides to take shortcuts, such as the use of certain steroids. That's why when these roids kick into this chocolate mass, baby, I'm gonna be unstoppable! Furthermore, contestants in physique competitions often make great sacrifices in their health, such as opting to dehydrate themselves before competitions so that the muscles are more defined. There's also plenty of supportive supplements out there in the exercise market today, but just as many products which could lead to heart disease or even death. Indeed, fitness training can be a delicate tightrope walk for many bodybuilders. I can't preach though. I don't even lift, bro. Like a big sirloin steak, baby! I like that! So how many of these myths did you believe? This is what Google searches look for in the world of bodybuilding. Does bodybuilding cause hair loss? Can bodybuilding be a career? Which bodybuilder has the biggest arms? For more weight pumping top 10s and fat burning top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Perhaps you are too distracted with the thought of fondling our muscles.